So we are now going to talk about Ilevan Polakka, about the song, about the, the arrangement, how it was formed and this kind of things. And the first question is, how you guys came up with the arrangement and how long did it take to figure out an a cappella uh, for Ilevan Polakka? There was this <laughs> trip to Moscow. It was a year in 90s. I'm not sure about 91 the exact... or two must 91 have been. 91 or two. Sorry, would remember it, but I didn't check it. But we can mm. maybe check yeah. it later. There was this snow sculpting uh, com- world competition in Moscow, and it was an amazing trip. Quite many things happened, but um, there was one moment that we were waiting for a minibus. So we had some time, and Anita started to sing to make time fly. And it was Ivan Bok. But we were waiting for the bus, so we didn't take the instruments. So we started to make this background like accompaniment for this book. And because it's not very complicated to like the chords and that kind of things there, we just were jamming there and singing along. So that's how it started that we it's a cappella because we couldn't take our instruments. It was fun to do that and then we wanted to continue with that idea later. Thing that it's in that dialect makes it very like humoristic and special. So maybe that gave also the idea to try to make the arrangement so that it's um, funny or humoristic or uh, that kind of thing. Next question is how long did it take to learn it? And was it difficult? One thing that I remember was challenging that, that the thing is changing all the time. Every mm. verse was different. Yes. We 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 changed. And it, it felt that it goes like fast, that things are coming fast yeah. and you really have to be spot on. But later it's changed because we had been singing it a lot. So that felt amazing. Like Surprising and amazing when you realize that you don't have to think it at all anymore. It just comes, like, from somewhere. Yeah. One challenging thing was that it was humoristic. We were laughing a lot. It was difficult uh, at some points to make it through <laughs> because it was so so much fun. And also, if you made a mistake. Then the other ones react to that, and it's it might be difficult to go on, but you need to go on. So, when was the first live performance of Eva's Polka? Um, it was '92. It was part of the folk music festival, all happening in Helsinki Center in Annantalo, in in a cultural house in in the very center, and it was for the Finnish radio, and it was live broadcast. Maybe we had some performance before that, like to try it out for the audience. And how many times have you sung Evan Polka? Countless. Uh, yeah, it's not possible to to say really. But we would have never guessed that what happens to this recording or this tune after that, that it would be this kind of thing. If you if you knew, of course, we would have counted all, every <laughs> single time, maybe. For the history records. Yes. Yeah. But like then we had a tour in Sweden only singing this one mm. song, for example. It You could never imagine that kind of thing. That, For example, for me, that I'm on tour singing almost only three notes, except melody parts, but... <laughs> yes, a kind of absurd experience. Do you ever feel that Ievan Polka draws attention away from your other composition uh, compositions, or is it always fun to perform? <laughs> It's well, always fun to perform. <clears throat> of course. Yes, to like, that question. Uh, like, like the other things as well. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, Well, of course, it's been drawing attention in general. We sing a lot in other tunes as well. And in in the first album, we also have another tune, a cappella tune, 
it's not humoristic kind, but there is another tune. Yeah, it's, it was very different. So, um, was Ivan Polka your first or best hit? <laughs> this is a good one also. We have been uh, talking about these things with Timo and, and kind of uh, uh, planning what to say approximately, what kinds of things. And this is this is also, again, it's rather, a good question. It's a good question and a, a very broad <clears throat> question because... Yeah. What's a, first? What's a hit? Yes. What, what is the significance of of, of a hit? Well, Eva Polka is a hit. Yeah. We can agree on that. But then, um, this kind of <clears throat> thinking probably comes from popular music and commercial music, and Eva Polka is part of that, of course. But when I think myself as a musician. I don't so much feel that I'm part of the commercial music and pop culture. Pop, pop culture. Mm. I don't have anything against it, and I'm not saying that it's it would be less worth of a music culture. And in the pop culture, it's uh, important to make hits to like make money, make money, and mm. of course we have to make money as well. It's not money is not the thing that makes the difference, but how to market music maybe is. We have lots to learn from, from the popular music and, and commercial music, but still to be famous is not the thing I'm aiming for. I'm more, more interested to make music than to be famous. It, it's not the main thing in this profession, I feel, to be famous. And that comes to the hit. Yes, and Loitoma has never aimed at making hits mm. of any kind, and being being like known or famous hasn't been our goal. Never. Mm. Next question is: Did you guys expect the original to go viral as it did, and how did this song change your life? We couldn't imagine at all that this kind of thing would happen. But in the same time, I remember that it felt special. We did get some uh, attention uh, for this song when it was released. Yeah, it was surprised it, that it was, it was played surprising. on radio. Yes, it was played on <clears throat> radio and that was something very exceptional. Yeah, and Timo Alakotila, who was our producer, artistic producer there, he said already in the studio, this will be a radio hit. Yeah, I also hear that uh, the the question here is also uh, that, that how did it how did this song change your life? That um, uh, that it, it, whether it has affected our everyday life, which is it hasn't. Mm, no. Basically, we are not we, famous. We are not famous in Finland. We've never been that that famous that people wouldn't recognize us on the streets. No, no. So. No. So our everyday life and our professional careers have been have been lots of other things, and hasn't hasn't really changed anything mm. in that sense. But of course, in 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 another sense, of course it has because uh, uh, I think we have gained some uh, fame, so to say, for the whole uh, scene of Finnish folk music mm. in the way. Vartina has does or or some others mm. who have performed a lot, for example, in 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 out of Finland. Mm. This is it for now. I think mm. we have had a good time uh, making this video, and um, I think we might probably make some more. <laughs> but um, this was uh, some stories about Ivan Polka and history of the song. And I hope you enjoyed our discussion. And uh, see you. See you. Soon again. Hey, Pam. Hey, Pam.